Morning. We're out here today. Devin and I are. Uh, we have a few projects we want to get done. The main one being we really hope to finish the platforms, which is kind of paused uh, just due to time constraints. But we're hoping to get the rest of that done. So then all that's left is putting on the decking. But right now we're out here looking at a potential spot for a food plot. So Devin's been doing a lot of surveying around and looking for different areas. And one thing that he discovered is that some of the areas we were looking at weren't going to be quite big enough. So now we're looking for different areas and we want to, you know, test the ground a bit and see what we think. We are far from experts in that field, like most things that we're doing out here. But we think we can get a pretty general idea. So that's what we're doing right now. It's beautiful. The weather is unreal for the end of January. I think it's going to be 70 today. And, uh, but then it takes a turn this week. So it'll be interesting. But anyways, that's what we're doing. Hope you guys are doing great. All right. We haven't made a lot of headway out here yet, but what we're doing at the moment is we have this front board on here, boards that we butted up together. So come over here. We have these abut, but we're going to put another forward facing board on there just to clean it up and make it look good. Um, it's these little things right here, kind of at the end that's we're really having to think about. So hopefully we get it figured out pretty quick on mine and then we can knock out Devin's. So right now we didn't have a speed square with us. So Devin ran back to the shipping container because we're gonna measure this last board. So since they're the, the joist, so since they're a butt, this one's hanging off and obviously not the same length. So we're gonna mark where this is going to be cut. We're gonna stick a screw, or excuse me, a nail on there, attach the measuring tape and this is where we're going to try and square it up. So we still have to put the final joist in the back. So we got this one where we want it. Put the nail in. Attach the measuring tape. And we're going to do our best to square it up. We think once that's done, then we're just going to go around the perimeter and put all of our uh, outward facing boards, whatever that's called. And then we need to do the blocking between all the joists. We add, need to add a little bit more uh, structural support. Then we're done. Then we just have to put on the decking. And then the stairs and then the railing. Well, and then the stairs and the railing, which I always forget about that. Because it's not, we don't have to have it. You, you know, we do, but not to get started. So that's our plan. That's what we're about to do. That's what we're about to do right now. All right, we got a nail over there in the corner. I'm going to take this tape all the way over to this corner so we have this final joist here so I guess uh, see this is where we are we haven't really put thought into this so I don't know we're gonna figure out what measurement we want to have it at stay tuned <laughs> all right I don't know how this worked but we measured from that corner to over here to that back corner, we got 35 and a half. Wait, 35, seven and a half. Then we put that corner and we came back here. So we moved, we, we found it, you know, 12 inches from the beam. And anyways, we measured to the corner, 34, seven and a half. So we know that we are square. 35, seven and a half. Goodness gracious, 35, seven and a half. So then we measured the distance between that, the joists there and the joists here just to see we didn't really care we were like let's just see if it's the same distance and it is right on Perfect. i cannot believe it that's crazy. i cannot believe it <laughs> so now we're going to attach these joists and we're square that's great i can't believe it i cannot believe it it really does look like we know what we're doing i can't i can't believe it <laughs> that's awesome man yeah the other thing though I, I forgot to mention when we came out here since these have been sitting out here for a while some of them took on some serious bows. So we did flip a couple and replace a couple, but, and they're not, they're not perfect, but it's structurally sound. So we're good with it. But I just cannot believe, I cannot believe how easy that just was that we got that square. 
I'm, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. It's ridiculous. All right. Well, now we're going to attach this, this back one. And then we're going to cut off the ends of the front and back joists. And then we're going to attach the, uh, what do we call this outside board? What is that called? The perimeter board. All right, so we got the perimeter done. One thing that has been extremely frustrating um, is that a lot of these boards taper off at the end. Like whoever milled the wood, they taper off at the end by like a quarter inch and it's unbelievably frustrating. It's like right here where this is lower, we're gonna have to come back through and shim it up. That's kind of our initial plan, but you know, we gotta, we gotta cut this off and some others, but overall it looks pretty good actually. I mean, we're happy with it. We're not a hundred percent done. There's some other things we need to add and do and yada yada, but it's looking good. But yeah, there's some more tweaks we're going to have to make. Man, what a learning experience this has been. But feeling good. We are about to start on Devin's next. It's hot out here, y'all, but it's beautiful. So beautiful. All right. If anyone has any suggestions, especially about, like I said, some of these joists are high. Some are low. So obviously they're wavy, but we're not too worried about that. But if you have any suggestions, like I said, we're thinking about shimming it up. And we're going to get a planer too, but you know, we're getting there. So Devin's looks so much better than mine, than Ryan's. His joists have all lined up really well. So we have this last piece we're putting on this side. Then we're going over to that side. We're going to put the end caps or whatever we're calling them over there. But yeah, look how good this is looking. Man, proud of us. Rock and roll, brothers.